Hi, I'm at the Georgia Museum of Art today at UGA's campus, and I'm in the organization and abstraction section of the museum. Um, and a lot of artists in this area were self-taught, and you can really tell, as I'm going to show you in the next painting, um, how there's no traditional way of artwork that many of these artists did, and it really shows a lot of creativity. So the painting that we're going to analyze today is by Beaver Delaney, and it is a portrait of Imogen Delaney, and this is an oil on canvas painting that he, was, that he created in 1963. Um, and just walking through the museum, this painting really stuck out to me first for its vibrant color. Um, I was also interested in the abstractness of the art and how it was made a little bit different and um, a little bit not as usual as the other artworks in this area. Um, so the vibrant yellow color of the background and the yellow, same yellow color of the dress, I think really makes the, the person's skin stand out. And I think it's a really interesting painting for the form of its abstractness and the color. Thank you. Now that I've shown you the artwork in the museum and helped to describe some of the elements of art that are seen in the painting, I think it will help you to understand the artwork even more by learning a little bit more about Buford Delaney and his life, uh, the context of the time period that the painting was um, created in, and then also to analyze some of his other work and see if there's a broader message to the paintings. Buford Delaney was born in 1901 in Knoxville, Tennessee. From a young age, he was interested in art, and he was also taught about the injustices of racism and slavery, as his mother had been a former slave. I believe that his upbringing helped shape some of his future artwork that you will see. Around the age of 20, Buford moved to Boston to study art further, and later he moved to New York City during the Harlem Renaissance, where he became a prominent known artist. While living in New York City around the time of Harlem Re Renaissance, many of Delaney's works were very powerful in showing the disenfranchisement of blacks in society. However, around the age of 52, Delaney moved to Paris to study more impressionist and abstract works of art. As you can see in the other examples of Buford Delaney's art, a common theme is the use of the color yellow. I believe that this symbolizes hope in all of his paintings. Thank you for listening to my project. I hope you were able to learn a, bit, a little bit more about Buford Delaney and the Harlem Renaissance and abstract and impression work in general. I hope I was able to explain the elements of design about Imogen Delaney's uh, portrait by Buford Delaney and to analyze some of the, the use of colors to symbolize hope. Thank you.